So we wanted to run you through this little job this week. This Dolan bike came in, a TT bike. The, the customer put a 56 tooth front chain ring on just here and he knew it wasn't right, but he didn't really know why, so he just brought it into us to sort out and he wanted a new tire put on this disc wheel. So first of all, we took off the chain, put that into the ultrasonic cleaner to get that cleaned up. It wasn't part of the brief, we didn't need to do it, we weren't doing chain work, but I like to present the bikes as nicely as I can, so we took off the cassette and the chain, we degreased them. It presents the bike much nicer when he comes to collect it. You know, you know your bike's ready to ride. So you can see all this grease here, that's probably from fingers. And if you look at this spinning, every time the pedal arm comes around towards the frame, it's oscillating. It's going closer and then coming away, closer, coming away. And that was because he got the spacers on the back of this chain set slightly fitted wrong. And that was obviously, he was aware there was something wrong, but wasn't sure. And also this pedal arm, you can see I had to use a breaker bar on this. It was way over tightened. I mean, it was like a lorry wheel nut on there. <laughs> I hurt my shoulder getting that one off. So we get all this grease off. There's, you, with parts like this, you don't need to over grease them. I see so many parts where they're full of grease and you don't need to. Now on this pedal arm, this was the one that was too close. There was actually no spacer on the bolt on the pedal arm. And these other spacers, had a male and female, and they were actually the wrong way around. So the male, or sorry, the female should have been on the back of the chain set and the, the male nut and bolt should have been on the front. No wrong. And also this, this hole there that I'm just showing, the, it was actually crook, crooked and that should have been opposite the pedal arm. So we also put that right when we re put it back together. Don't think it really made a lot of difference, but it just meant all the logos and everything lined up. So the first lot about the degreaser was the cassette and the chain. So this is what we're now just washing down. We just got all the grease and everything off those. They were freshly oiled actually, so it was just discoloring oil really. They weren't thick with grease, but it was just nice to give it a freshen up. And the pedal arm, and then the, this was the, the chain ring that he brought. He'd gone to a one by system. I'm not a great fan of putting that onto an original chain set like he had, because a two by chain set, the spacing of the bolts and the lugs and everything is geared for allowing it not to cross chain. With a larger ring only, you're cross chaining slightly to the larger cogs on the rear, but that's the compromise you make and that's the compromise in this job. But anyway, so we clean this up now. You can see it's beginning to bling up and I do like it when they're blinging. So this is now the nuts and bolts. We just give them a slosh out. These have all been through the degrease, all through the ultrasonic cleaner. And it just, you know, it gets right in deep. So this is our parts laid out. And now we're just going to put some Loctite 222 on these. They originally had some lock, like thread lock that was moulded into them, which the fact they've been on and off several times, I decided to use Loctite. So put these spacers on the back, but with the female part, which is wider, that fits those spacers tighter on the rear. And then we just start to do these up. And then I put a double spacer on. I like There was a spare one in the packet for this, but I also put a washer underneath. So this actually gripped at the pedal arm. Originally, although the bolt was in there, it had no mechanical abilities. It wasn't gripping the actual chain ring itself. Then we torque these up, all to manufacture spec. And now we just start on this frame, giving this a little clean up. Again, this wasn't part of the job. All we had to do was bolt that chain ring on correctly. But, you know, you've got to get it right. These bikes need to be right. They're, they're very nice bikes, as is this one. And, you know, you need to know when you start riding this bike that you've come away and you know it's right. And that's the Bikes V's way. So we're cleaning this up now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We're very, very pleased with the way the subscriptions are going. And we love to see you all here and love to read your comments and things. So make sure you like and subscribe. And you can book a service online now if you're local to us and you're using us bikespeeds.com we have a booking system on there so be sure to book in your bikes now we're talking this up correctly and now you can see when this spins that pedal arm there look, as it swings around to the chain stay the, the chain ring itself isn't oscillating in and out and now I just give this derailleur a clean up and do the little jockey wheels they had quite thick grease on them they were they were quite caked really so you know, everything's smooth and, and you can see it's the ceramic bearings, it's nice. So now we work to the wheel. Now one of the conversations I had with this customer when he brought it in, or one of the things I picked up on him saying was he's using this for time trialing. If he'd been using it for triathlon, 
When I glued this tire on, I would have left at the opposite side to the valve an area of about four inches, which allows for you to be able to peel this wheel off if you're out racing you need to change the tyre but most time trialists will just jack a race in if they get punctured so it's not so it's more important to have the wheel on properly. So we give this a first coat of glue and that soaks into the canvas on the back of the tyre and then once that's dry we then give the rim a second coat of glue we've already cleaned all the glue off the old glue off this rim that's a very time consuming process and now we just give this a second coat but you want this all clean when you put it back together. So this is now in its second coat of glue work our way around the valve and then this is quite a technique that anyone who's who does these will know that it takes a little bit of practice to get this technique drilled down but that tire is now on so we inflate that and that will be left overnight to really glue on before we give the bike back to the customer and now I do just give this disc a little clean up you can see we're using the auto glim polish on this resin polish that's the road film that's come off you can see there's you know it needed a clean it's the braking surfaces as well they get that road film and grease just make sure that your brakes are working nicely the wheel is presented well and we just give that free hub a little clean up as well before we put the cassette back on a little bit of grease on there just to stop the cassette sticking you don't need to go over the top just a small smear on there just you know get all the layers and then on goes that cassette the lock ring torqued up everything's got to be done to its torque and then that wheel goes in and we just check that everything's okay there. So that's now going in nicely. And then little details, I'm all about the details. So we just cut some ovals in our vinyl cutter. I've measured the hole size and everything else and we just heat that up to shrink that on. Uh, a lot of manufacturers will sell you these in packets and, and some have like plastic cups that go over, but it, this is an older wheel. So we just cut them to, to suit the wheel. On goes the chain and now we just check the indexing of the gear in here this, this did need a little bit of fettling without a doubt you know this was it was it just needed sorting out and getting right once we got it right then we oil the chain because i don't want to make the new cassette all dirty so <laughs> i do that after these uh, little spaces here for the pedals they fell out actually with the degreasing which showed that they were stuck in with grease so i just taped those in to let the customer know and then this is something i see very very often on a lot of wheels and that is the quick release skewer springs the wrong way around. It's narrow side in, wide side out. And if you get the wide side in, it can actually, in this case, stop a wheel going into the frame. And I see that a lot. And this is our Dolan presented for the customer.